Both the federal and state governments have been called upon to create a widow's ministry in the scheme of governance in the country. Some women activists who made the call during a program organized by a non-governmental organization, Shalom Hope for Life Foundation, to commemorate this year's International Widows' Day, argued that creating such will ensure plights of widows will be properly looked after. According to the United Nations, there are approximately more than 258 million widows globally, with Nigeria having about 3 million who have been deprived of their basic rights and are left unsupported after the death of their husbands. The theme for this year is sustainable solutions for widows' financial independence. Since widows face financial issues besides other issues, the day seek to highlight the ways in which widows can become financially independent and earn their living. A women activist, educationist and guest speaker at the event, Susan Umuhaba, urged the federal government most especially to create an avenue for widows to be part of governance rather than give them what she called peanuts in the name of empowerment, while encouraging widows to start up any business no matter how little to ensure financial independence Muhaba told them not to look down on themselves. Pacific and federal government to have a day, a day for these women, and in Nigeria, a day for these women and the children, and empower them. Not peanuts. Place them in a better position so that they will have, they have that financial independence to hold, hold tight to and train these children. Convener of the event and founder of the NGO, Evelyn Ode, said the time has come for governments to recognize the most neglected widows community yet important persons in the society by putting up favorable policies and programs one of the groups that is so neglected is the widows the government should make provision for policies that will favor the rights of widows many of them they face a lot of challenges molestations from their families after the demise of their husbands so policies should be made and put on ground that will protect the rights and privileges of widows and orphans. It is my call on the government. They should take it up as a social responsibility. They should no longer neglect this community. Some of the widows who spoke at the event said they were not even aware of the International Widows Day and called for more recognition and assistance from the government and well-meaning individuals. In short, we enjoy today. This is my first time to hear about International Widows Day. We thank God for those God touch and do it for us. We are not looking for uh, bread or tea or any other thing. Rather, the word of God is more healthy and everything. The ultimate goal of this day is to develop resources and policy to empower widows and allow them to have access to education, work, healthcare and lives free of violence and abuse. Zakari Omale, AIT News, Katsina.